guys, we're back again for another unboxing video for the MSI motherboard Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC Performance Gaming. So this one has RGB Mystic Light and uh, let's look at the back. So from the back side we have it says here it has two times Gen 3 times 2 for the lightning USB and uh, dual or I don't know if it supports Wi-Fi or something but we'll see we'll see and it's Windows 10 compatible supports Nvidia SLI AMD Crossfire and it has Nahimic 2, 2 plus for the sound controllers and it supports let us let's see the specification we have CPU support for 8th gen Intel Core processors, Pentium Celeron, it's socket LGA1151, the chipset is Z370, so you can over, this is an overclocking motherboard, and uh, it would like to have like the K series of your core processors, i5 or i7, i9, I and uh, moving on we have for display, we have display port, HDMI, and memory support of 4 DIMMs, dual channel DDR4, 4000 plus overclock, so it can support your XMP profiles. Oh, and oh, I forgot the graphic interface. It has a 3 times PCIe 3.0, times 16 slots, and supports 2 way SLI and 3 way crossfire. So, for that one, I would just like to tell you that it. If your motherboard only supports two-way SLI, always use only two graphics card here. I don't know if it can use three-way SLI, but it only says two-way SLI. And but if you say three-way crossfire, if you can, if you're using AMD's, you can use three-way. And it has three PCIe slots, two times M.2 slots, and it supports Intel Optane technology, so you can use your Optane memories. Six, six times SATA, six gigabit per second. RAID zero, one, two, three. So that's all up to you if you want to use that. And two times USB 3.1, and eight times USB 3.1 again. And Intel, what's that? Twelve uh, I two one nine gigabit LAN and eight channel seven point one HD audio with audio boost four. So yep, that's all it. Let's now unbox the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. So it's true gaming. So right off the box, you will see the motherboard. Let's put it aside first and let's see what we can find. So this is a foam padding. And out of the box, we will see the DVD, the driver and utilities, the thank you note for from MSI and this one is the SATA cable tags or the labels so for you not to get confused which one switch or which slots goes to which and that's the use of these slots quick installation guide the user guide how to install everything how to do on your motherboard and next one we have is the the SLI bridge for the 10 series of graphics cards you have the two slots over here so they only give you for the 10 series not for the 9's 9's usually only have one slot for each for the SLI bridge and oh yeah they gave the I believe this is the Wi-Fi antenna Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for the motherboard that's nice it's not built into that so we have the Wi-Fi antennas over here and what's this oh the RGB port or the RGB cables that you can use for any RGB LEDs that you can put on your case you can use it here and what is this? Oh, another RGB it looks like this one is the extension port so if you're going to use RGBs oh we have a vent pin over there so usually this, you just have to just straighten it out. Maybe I'll just straighten it out later. 
if I'm gonna use it for the build and this one is for I'm guessing this one is for the USB USB 2.0 for the antenna yeah for the antenna so this one comes with this one and another oh the SATA cables you get two SATA cables for it with mm, a tree pin I'll figure it out later <laughs> a tree pin cable looks to me like it's power for something with accessories and stuff so we'll, we'll check it out later and an extra screw for something that like I told you guys, this is also my first time unboxing and everything in this, in our videos, it's our first time to unbox it. We, we just take it right out of the box. And for the back plate that we have is, we have a, a deep black or a matte black for the back and a padded, a padded panel at the back so you don't need or you won't see the pins pushing out some some of the stuffs and sometimes those are the ones that are very tricky to install you have to lift the pins up but for this one it's it's like insulated into an aluminum so it will be an AC build so yeah that's all for the accessories let's move on to the motherboard yeah so here we have the motherboard so let's try to remove the ESD bag. Fresh. So here we go. So here we have the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC from MSI. So we have the carbon effects over here. And you can see, yeah, carbon fiber looks, statics, and way over here. So this is just our first impression. It has a big cover up top for your heat sinks. And uh, looks nice, looks beautiful with metal. Or maybe it's, yeah, I think it's metal metal covers for your RAM slots and two metal covered PCI slots down here so let's start from the top so we have a GRGB port 2 here I don't know if you can see yeah right over here and we have the we have an 8 pin power connector up here and a what's it J Corsair port over here up top and the CPU fan one and the CPU fan pump over here let me get my cutter yep CPU fan pump over here and system fan over here system fan 4 and then your four RAM slots and your yeah your LJ1151 CPU slot over there your 24 pin and then your USB port I think yeah they have two so this is a USB port right over here and another USB 3.0 USB 3.0 both and we have how many slots one two three four slots for your SATA cables and then we have another fan slot over here let's just, just go, go around first and then we have your J rainbow slot over here and SATA 6 port and SATA 5 port right over here and we have your USB port right over here we have two of them on the bottom and then we have your JFP1 port for your power power switch reset switch your HDD LED and your power LED and we have your demo LED slots again over here and we have a what's this button over here this is your I'm guessing this is the reset switch for the motherboard 
So in case of you run into some overclocking problems, so you can just press this one to reset your BIOS and go back to default. And then we have your JTP M1, your System Fan 2 port again, and the RGB port again, and then your audio port right over here. So for the middle part, we have a, an M.2 shield over here for your 80, 60, and 42. So, oh, now, okay, so the other screw that I saw on from the box is going to go to here for the shield, for the M.2 shield, for the big screws. So we can use that, and usually this one will look beautiful if you're using an M.2 with only the PCB that's cool that's colored green so this one will hide those things and we have your PCIe slot over here we have two reinforced by metal so if you're using a heavy graphic card it will avoid the drooping or like the breaking off of the PCIe slots and we have the again PCIe the small ones smaller ones we have one two three three ports for them and then one two three for the 16 x16s so this one will support either two-way SLI or three-way crossfire and yeah this is a very very beautiful motherboard for all of you guys who like sick sick motherboards so again this is a Z, Z series so you know that this is an overclocking motherboard so you will rock it if you have uh, a K series of Intel processors so you can go all out on your overclocking just make sure to have a good good cooling system in your CPU coolers so for the IO ports we have two USB up top here plus what do you call that uh, the, the old <laughs> the old mouse or a keyboard that you can you're if you're still using it and we have your seems to me this is the display port your USB type C USB 3.1 USB I think one two three four five USB 3.1 but I think they are also reverse compatible for USB 2.0 3.0 and then the 3.1 and this one is the HDMI port your LAN port and then you have your SPDIF and I believe this one is the speaker, the headphone, the rear, the subwoofer and uh, I, I, I'm not sure what this one is or I forgot it but you will see them also actually on your on your ports if you install the driver so you will understand more about it and at the back side we have a black black coated um, what is it called? It? Board. Let's just call it board for now. I forgot. I seem to forget terms when I'm recording videos. So yeah, and we have this big black coated board over here, and it looks nice. And it says all of your sponsors right like over here. It's like AMD Crossfire, Nvidia SLI, Nahimic, and certified by Steel Series right over here. And yeah, so that's it. That is our overview first hand look on the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard so it looks nice feel nice and you can see that it's it has a weight to it so you know that it has a good quality so this product is available here and the link is in the description below make sure to check it out if you want to get some and guys don't forget to like and like the video if you like it dislike if you don't like it and subscribe and that's it i'll see you again on the next one thanks guys peace out